How do mm. I know when my turbo is going bad? That's a great question, Jacob. Let me show you right here on this Caterpillar that we have. So all you're going to do is walk up to the back of your turbo here where the exhaust is hooked up to the turbo. Take this off. Usually it's going to be a 716 socket that you're going to need to take this clamp off. Take it off. Remove it. See if there's oil coming out of this exhaust. Pull off right here as well, which is going to be a 716 or a half inch socket. So it's really easy and simple to check. Remove this boot here, the air on the intake, and then go ahead and see if there's oil coming out of here. If there's oil coming out of here, definitely the next step you're going to want to take is removing these bolts right here, which are going to be your turbo mounting bolts. And when you remove these, this turbo is going to come off, obviously. Once you take it off, go ahead and look if there's oil inside of your exhaust manifold. If there's no oil in your exhaust manifold, you know your turbo is bad. And you might be saying, well, Matt, I have plenty of power. Yeah, that's all good and fine. But this thing is leaking oil. And when it's leaking oil like that, it is bound to cause a runaway engine. How? Well, inside of here, the cartridge fails. And when it does fail, it sends oil through your intake, through your intercooler, into the other side of your head, and acts as an external fuel supply, causing your engine to drain all of its oil as an excess fuel and blowing your engine up completely. So listen guys, if your turbo is leaking, do not mess around with it and do not cheap out. Click the link right here or give Highway and Heavy Parts a call and get your turbo because this is not something to mess around with. Have a great day, y'all.